you have bacteria in your well or lake water, maybe you want to make sure you never have bacteria in your family's water at your home cottage or cabin. Maybe you've heard about ultraviolet disinfection system, want to learn more about how they work? Well, this video is for you. Hi, I'm Gary the Water Guy and I simplify water filtration to help you conquer crappy water for your family. An ultraviolet disinfection system is a great alternative to chlorinating your water because that chlorine, you got to get rid of that chlorine after it's gone through the disinfection process. That's the residual. Um, with the uh, ultraviolet disinfection system, there's no disinfection residual, so you don't have to worry about that affecting uh, your family, uh, doing your laundry, uh, things like that. So um, with an ultraviolet disinfection system, because it's light, the light is what's killing the bacteria. There are some pretreatment requirements. You have to make sure the hardness is seven or less. You have to make sure the iron content is 0.3 parts per million or less. You have to make sure there's no sand getting through. So you need a five micron pre-filter filter, and you need ultraviolet transmittance of 75% uh, or greater and that makes sure that the water isn't like a, a murky color or something like that because again the light has to get through to kill that uh, bacteria. So let's check out this uh, Safe Water 10 Ultraviolet Disinfection System. This is a three-stage mini rack system, super easy to install, but let's talk about how it works. So water enters this side and it goes through the first filter, which is a sediment filter. So that's what's getting you down to five microns. This is what that sediment filter looks like. It's a polypropylene filter. The next stage is a carbon filter. So once we've removed the sediment from the water, the dirt basically, then we want to go to a filter like this. So this is a carbon filter that removes chemicals from the water, herbicides, pesticides, that kind of thing. Now if you want, you can even upgrade that to a different kind of carbon filter, one like this, that in addition to removing the chemicals from the water, it also removes VOCs, which are volatile organic compounds, uh, this one will actually remove lead and uh, also cysts like cryptosporidium and giardia. And then from there, it goes uh, through the ultraviolet light. As it passes by the ultraviolet light, it kills the bacteria and then it goes on to your home. So this is a continuous process. As the water runs through, it, uh, it kills the bacteria in the process. So this is the ultraviolet, um, this is the sleeve that fits inside here. The bulb fits inside the sleeve. And uh, so this is the sleeve that needs to be kept clean. And as you can see, I'm handling it with a cloth. And this is the UV lamp itself. So again, that sits inside here. So all, none of the water actually touches the UV lamp. It all sits inside that quart sleeve and it flows over. So that's what, when we're talking about the pretreatment requirements, that's what that quart sleeve needs to be perfectly, needs to be kept clean. And as the water flows over, that's why if you have high hardness or you have a lot of iron in your water, then that sleeve uh, would need to be cleaned more often. Or like I say, if you adhere to those pretreatment requirements, then you don't worry about any of that. As the water passes through, disinfects the water for your family. No disinfection residual. They're a great system. So the beauty of these three-stage mini-rack ultraviolet disinfection systems is they all come assembled the way you see them here. So the water flows in one side, goes through the sediment filter, the carbon filter, goes through the UV lamp, and then goes on to the whole house. Super easy to install for the do-it-yourselfer or for your local plumber. I always say there's two kinds of people that invest in an ultraviolet disinfection system for their family. The kind that has bacteria in their water and they want to get rid of it, and the kind that wants to make sure they never have bacteria in their water. Go here for my next video on ultraviolet disinfection, and I'll see you there.